Hello, and today we're going to try to uh, put these spots in leather. A lot of times, like you see it here, like you see it on a belt. This is a belt we're working on, so we got to put spots on the other side of the leather. And there's a real easy way to do this. Um, spots generally come in different types of metals. They're different sizes. These are really, really, really small. This is a lot larger than the ones we're using now. But generally, they all are going to have these little hasps that come in and then fold over on the back of the leather. So what you're going to need to do is drive the spot through the leather in order to make that work nice and then fold them down nice and easy. So the things you're going to need, um, you know, a good little hammer. Um, I like this particular one. It's a cheap one. It's a five dollar purchase. It's got a little flat edge here for hammering the, the, the prongs and then it's also got the back end. These are domed if you didn't notice earlier and uh, you can actually hammer them so that these turn in a little bit. If you're sloppy with the hammering, these hasps, the, 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 the little prongs on the back will actually catch your things like your shirt or whatever. You don't really want that. Um, you're also going to need a pencil or something like that, marker that you can use to mark on your leather. Since I'm using black leather here, I'm using a white pencil. Um, and then this is just a little piece of aluminum flashing that I made a template out of and um, it's real simple to do you just take your spots you figure out how wide you want them like how, how well spaced out and then you can just kind of set them in um, and then i went ahead and just drilled the holes the easiest thing to do after you've done it is take the spot that you're using and just set it in there to make sure that it's gonna it's, it's spaced right because you're going to want to make sure that that's spaced okay so nothing real expensive nothing real you know fancy just real straightforward easy to use now, spots you can get any place. I think we got these out of Crazy Crow. I think you can get them from Tandy. You can get them from any, um, you know, leather distributor usually. Um, but again, it just depends on the size and the spacing. That's something you're going to have to kind of play with and decide what you want for your project. Uh, the next thing you want, you're going to want your uh, little dribble bits. And uh, the size just really depends on the size of this because each one of them have different sizes on the prongs. So we'll have to play with that to figure out which fits your project best. And of course, a single speed Dremel drill works like a charm. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. You know, see, we've done a little bit of the work already. And your template should be set up so that the straight edge sets right on the edge of the leather itself. That gives you your spacing in. You know, you can adjust that however you want. But since it's a border piece like this, this is how I want it. So I'm going to set that just fine like that. And then where I'm going to go is I'm going to take my pencil and just mark through the spots like that until I have my little pattern just like that. As I get down to a further piece, I'm going to carry that template down. I'm going to make sure that that template overlaps. So these last couple holes I'm going to overlap the holes I've already got done. Make sure the rest of the template's laid up just right. And then I can just put my uh, marks down so I know where the next pieces are going to go. So having done that, the work itself is very simple. All I'm going to do is uh, take this, part, turn it on, I'm going to drill a couple holes. You can actually just go down the whole thing and do it at once. It's much faster that way. And then that way you can come back and set all of your, your uh, pieces in. You'll notice I'm just using an old wooden block. Um, it's actually a little damp, helps keep traction, and it's more important, of course, when I'm, when I'm hammering the actual pieces in, um, that makes it simple. But all you have to do, once you get it all set, is just set that piece in. It just pushes in by itself like that. Real easy. And, like I said, if you've already got a whole series all the way down the belt, you can put them all in there, because that hole's nice and tight. It's not going to fall out. And then... It's just that much kind of assembly method, I guess, is the best way to put it. You get it all done. Now all you have to do is just hammer those little pieces down. And then because it's got that little ball on the back to finish, I just try to tap it down. You'll notice with your finger, if you've done it right, you shouldn't be able to get hung up on it or anything like that. It should be nice and clean and uh, tight in there. And now this is set in just right, 
and it's where you want it to be and it's not going to fall out. And that should do it.